Welcome back, coders, to tonight's quick update video. Today, we're going to be diving into a couple cool topics. Um, the first of which is Xbox's brand new console exclusive, at least timed console exclusive. Uh, we are actually talking about uh, a quite an interesting turn of events with the game Cyberpunk. Yes, you heard that right. Xbox now has a timed console exclusive of Cyberpunk 2077 if... You didn't already purchase it and have it in your library. They have PlayStation actually uh, with a dispute with CDPR requesting people to go to Sony directly and ask for refunds. They have actually gone and ahead and taken the drastic measure, measure of delisting it from the store. I don't blame Sony for this move at all. I actually think CDPR's uh, reaction to this, uh, this kind of debacle has been mishandled to say the kindest version of that. Essentially, they're going to take it off of the store until CDPR can get it into a decent place for PS4. Um, but that also means that PS5, you cannot buy it for brand new on digitally. Digitally, You can, of course, go into the store and purchase a physical version. Um, but obviously, that's a little bit difficult in today's uh, situation. So, for now, Xbox, at least for the time being, has a time console exclusive release uh, for Cyberpunk 2077. I thought that was a pretty fun little news update, obviously. Uh, pretty interesting to see how PlayStation has reacted to it. And again, I think it's kind of completely justified in this scenario. Uh, with Microsoft, that's never really been a policy where they weren't offering refunds. CDPR knew that PlayStation doesn't offer refunds. And to ask customers to go and overwhelm their support lines was absolutely uncalled for and a really, really bad marketing move. So ultimately, I think that we're starting to see the right things happen, which is those PS4 and Xbox One copies are being refunded. Um, there's less pressure. This has been a good thing in the in the long run but cdpr is definitely going to have to get on top of their stuff and make sure that they're no longer mismanaging this stuff second uh item of the day we're going to be talking about cyberpunk 2077's 1.05 patch now as you can see on my screen over here i have the hotfix over here this is one of the many patches that they talked about i believe it's the second uh major patch after the day one patch so there were two hotfixes so far that have come out 1.04 which did improve things a lot uh although primarily i believe it improved some of the minor bugs that were on the xbox series x the playstation 5 still is in a decent state but the biggest issue that i continuously hear is that it crashes so i noticed in here some of the bigger things that they mentioned uh besides a bunch of quest fixes and stuff like that and gameplay uh like adjusted adjustments they also have adjusted crash fixes so i'm hoping what this means is that playstation 5 players are not going to be experiencing the same things that they've been running into which is having to save very frequently because it crashes on the regular this is not consistent across everybody's experience but it is something i've heard a lot from a lot of people um the series x didn't seem to have any crashes i've had one in the entire time that was pre pre 1.04 patch uh since then the biggest complaint i've had is the image quality where i think the dynamic resolution scaler was broken in that it was constantly changing resolutions and i couldn't figure out why which led it to have kind of a softer image than it needed to and it wasn't really running at that low of a resolution so on top of that they had some weird issues with film grain as well as that so there was also an update to the visuals so one of the things that they show on here i'm trying to see if i can find it in here is that they adjusted they adjusted the visual issues here we go the sharpness image sharpness with chromatic aberration and film grain on now i tested this and i have to say this is probably the coolest thing that is in this patch for series x owners uh, i'm sure it's going to also dramatically affect the playstation 5 experience but the crashes were a bigger deal there the fact that they're getting this as well is huge and i gotta say I turned back all those extra uh, features, the motion blur, the chromatic aberration, the film grain. These were two of the biggest heavy hitters of adding an additional blur to the to the screen when you're running on that performance mode. Now, this wasn't as big of an issue when you had that uh, quality mode on Xbox Series X because you could go up to there, but you had to drop it to 30 FPS. Now, you can kind of get the best of both worlds. It's still lower resolution, it's still dynamic resolution, but the resolution does, scaler does, isn't broken anymore. It's not constantly switching. You're not seeing a little bit of blur from that. You're also not seeing any blur from the chromatic aberration film grain, and to my eye, it looks better with at least film grain on now, and motion blur obviously is going to help smooth out the image even further for any frame rate drops that might crop up just rarely here and there. I will also say 
that the performance seemed more steady in my limited testing. I played for about 30 minutes just to kind of get a feel, drove around the town, got into some firefights. Everything felt better, looked better, and played better. So I will say, I think this is a pretty decent update. It's not like groundbreaking. It's not changing it into a completely different game, but I do think it gets it into the right direction. So I think I would recommend getting this updated as quickly as possible if you want to play it on the Series X or the PlayStation 5. It's going to dramatically alter your experience. On play PC... I think only the crash fixes and random things like that are going to be a major issue changer there uh, because as far as I know, that's been running really, really well on, play, on on PC. That's it for Cyberpunk news, but that is a really, really cool thing. So if you were watching my video previously on the best settings to go ahead and get that sharpest image, especially in performance mode, I may have to make an updated video because I think uh, I think film grain is now actually a positive. Now, obviously, if you hate that feature, you can turn it off. But I found that it was a little bit sharper and covered up some of the anti-aliasing, uh, the aggressive anti-aliasing that it has uh, that I, I'm not as big of a fan of in a really positive way. So film grain back on motion blur back on. Keep chromatic aberration off unless you really like that feature. Okay, on to the last bit of news. I wanted to cover just a really quick overview of Call of Duty Warzone big changes. And some of these things that we're talking about are um, Rebirth Island. This was the biggest change that they added. They added a brand new island. Yes, it's basically a carbon copy of Alcatraz Island. Yes, it is very similar to the mode that they had there. But it plays very different because it's Modern Warfare's engine. And you also have the advantage of having um, the new Cold War weapons. I'm really liking some of these new weapons. I think they might be a little broken in Modern Warfare, but we're going to find out that as we play more. We already got a win, and I have to say it's a ton of fun. 45 players dropping into a very small island, getting loot. The zone is changing. Lots of lots of uh, ability or um, like like precision airstrikes and stuff like that. Just really, really good stuff. Um, and there's, there's some really interesting layouts that make it so that it's it's hard to kind of predict where people are going to come from so you kind of are always on high alert and it's kind of a sniper's paradise i've found so far i've been really enjoying it i, I suggest everyone jump in there we haven't checked out the rest of the regular changes to verdansk including the new gulag but i expect to be doing that very shortly and if you are watching this video you know, after we've done that, go ahead and check back on the channel. We may have already gotten a stream up uh, because as I'm filming this, we're planning a stream later this after, this evening. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's quick update uh, for all things gaming news. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And as always, stay classy, coders.